Luckily, we're finally getting some rain in Denver. We thought maybe there was a chance, and Mother Nature certainly provided today. We have some good rain down in the southwestern corner of the state, and then we also have uh, some rain that's moving out of, thankfully, the Pine uh, Gulch uh, fire. And you may say, why uh, is that such a good thing? They've actually had some flooding there today, so we don't want all of the rain at once in some of these areas now that we've had such, you know, massive fires. There's nothing to block any of the flooding, so we have to deal with that now. So we want the rain. We just don't want too much of it all at once. Heading into the Denver area, we do you have uh, some showers starting to clear out in some areas, more sunshine outside the CBS4 studios. But on the east side of town, you're still getting some heavy rain. We have some rain near Georgetown and Blackhawk right now, and then down into southwestern Colorado. Again, just some good soaking showers in many of these areas. Now, we're still hot, obviously. It was another scorcher of a day today. This high pressure that we've been talking about for a couple of weeks now has been so powerful and so dominant, but it is going to move out of our way for a little while. We have a cold front that's going to work its way through on Friday, as it does, knocks down our temperatures for uh, some of us, not all of us, uh, down quite a bit to the 80s, and there will be an increased chance for some rain. So that's really our best shot of widespread rain across the state. Even though we're getting some today, we're tapping in a little bit more than expected. But Friday looks like a pretty good day for some rain. So we'll continue to see some rain around uh, Colorado for the next couple of hours. But by tomorrow morning, back to sunshine. It's another very hot day for it, and storms should be much more isolated tomorrow. Still have a chance here in Denver. Better chance will come in, though, on Friday and whatever is out there will clear out pretty quickly on Thursday. We obviously still have air quality issues, but hopefully this rain helped us out just a little bit for the front range, a little bit out to the east, and of course for northern Colorado. The temperatures have dropped down to 75 out of DIA thanks to the rain out there right now. 83 in Greeley, 99 in Burlington, 100 in La Junta right now, 85 in Avon, 97 in Grand Junction. 86 from our weather watcher Denny Mays in Rifle, and he said finally a less hazy, smoky day. So slightly better air quality happening over in Rifle and looking at our current temperature downtown. We are at 81. Again, that rain really knocked down our temperatures. So not earlier today, though. 97 degrees, our almanac for today out of DIA. It did tie a daily record high. That's the seventh time that that has happened this month for us in Denver. Uh, we've either tied or broken a daily record high seven times. 86 is our average. And our August heat, again, 24 days in the 90s. That's the most all time. 16 days above 95 now. So that's the most all time for the month of August. 63 in Denver tonight, 62 in Boulder, 60 out east. We have 60s out east. And tomorrow it's still hot. 96 in Denver. In Greeley, 93 in Boulder, almost in the triple digits for most of the eastern plains, 80s, 90s in the mountains, 90s out west. And for your five day forecast, there is that big change. 84 on Friday, that will sure feel nice around here. And then we're down to the 80s again on Monday. A second cold front will not, uh, come our way, and there could even be some 70s next week, you guys. Oh my gosh, we can't believe that, Lauren. Thank you. Well, if you're looking